Woodstock Fruit Festival. We'll see you there, August 20th, 28th, 2012. Everyone, so I was talking to Heidi before and we decided we're going to alternate weeks. So one week's going to be Heidi, one week's going to be me, and yeah, she's happy with that. So today it's going to be me. I just got back from the beach. It's frigging amazing out there. It's beautiful. Just did a 5k run in the soft sand, feeling my calves. And so today, let's get into the recipe. It's going to be raw vegan tiramisu. Like one of my all time favorite recipes. I love, love, love it. And all right. So what you're going to need is probably about 14 dates. You know, with the quantities, I just wing it. With raw vegan food, you can be totally, you know, you can get the quantities wrong and it still tastes amazing. Unlike some floury, buttery cake where you have to get it all, you know, exactly right or it tastes like shit. So, about, you know, 14 dates pitted. These are amazing medjool dates. Oh my god, they're so good. Alright, so bananas. Just one at this stage. One banana. Actually, probably going to need a couple of bananas. Let's just see how we go. A bit of apple. You know, so you just need one, one to two apples. So just break off a little bit of apple. You may want more or less of this. Chuck it in there. Oh, there's fruit flies everywhere saying hello. Chuck the dates in. Put a banana in. And this is where the fun begins. Until you get, you know, smush it around a bit. You don't want to put too much water in there. You may have to like get in there and smush it around. Use a smusher. I mean like, on like these little blenders that I used to have, it's called like a bullet blender. You can get this little attachment that goes on top and you just make it really easy. Alright, so if you got one of them, that would be great. That'd be even better. If you, you know, you want to really pulverize, you know, integrate everything in together okay so it's a paste I'm going to need a little bit of water here just keep working it and working and working it okay just a little bit of water maybe half a cup of water it depends on what blender you're using if you get a Vitamix you can probably do it pretty well without water because you've got the smosher and you can start on low speed but with the cafe series it starts pretty high so it flicks everything to the side and doesn't really let it all integrate so you may need about half a cup of water okay okay so once you've got your paste you just Thinly slice some apples or mandolin them. You know, you want it to be like phyllo pastry, okay? So, so you just keep cutting, cutting, cutting until you get the whole apple in slices. And so next you take a banana and you slice it. So you want to make layers. Because this kind of been going to be the foundation. Take it, take it and slice it. It's better if it's a little bit of a straighter banana. Because um, then you can get nice long slices without this big bend and then it breaks okay you know just just slices like that you know pretty thin as thin as you can get without breaking the base so really you're gonna probably slice up about maybe three or four bananas all right so initially i said one banana so i got that wrong i told you i'm winging it a bit I haven't made it for a while so about three or four bananas see what i'm talking about there so i got apples and banana and the date mix and this is how we're going to layer it. Okay, and then we put more date paste. We got a truckload of date paste here. Dated out, baby. Alright. So, that's the next stage. So this is, this is really a quite amazing recipe. I mean, like, I don't know anyone who doesn't like it because it's sweet and just, it's just so Moorish and it's fuel, you know, it's fuel for your cells and it's going to make you feel good about yourself. It's going to help you feel good about yourself. You know, this is good for like even a dinner party or something. You can have a lot of fun with this and, you know, you can introduce your um, family or whatever to raw vegan desserts, you know, the like high carb raw vegan desserts, not the fatty, nutty ones. Overt fat free. I mean, <laughs> as you can see, I'm pretty generous. 
generous with the date. Because I love dates. I'm a little date aholic. Glucose junkie. So here we have raw vegan tiramisu. Look, look at this beauty. See the height it's got? Its height is awesome. There you go, there's a closer look. Mm -mm. Look inside. That's tiramisu, baby. Okay, don't forget the cinnamon. I forgot to say put some cinnamon in with the date paste. You know, you can put maybe a teaspoon or less, half a teaspoon. And then at the end, sprinkle some on. Time for the tasting. Mm, literally the best start to the day ever. I mean, like, you get to have dessert for it's breakfast. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you in a couple of days. Make sure you try this and let me know how it goes. You know, put it in the comments below. Let me know if you like it or not. I'm sure you will. And any questions about it, post them down below as well. Alright, see you later.